I think that it is common knowledge that there are incentives for people to purchase solar systems right now. Uh, many of the details seem to get blurred in, in the c common exchange, and so people are not clear about the California state rebate, which is essentially, technically that's called the California Solar Initiative, which then has a incentive, and the incent, what they call the incentive, we call, keep it simple, it's a rebate, and that's typically taken as a cash or dollar rebate or price reduction to the customer. That comes off the top, and typically that dollar rebate is used to reduce the cost of, to the customer with the vendor ultimately receiving the, vent, the, the rebate from the utility. I should mention that the, and people should be clear about where their California rebate comes from. At least it's important for me to know that this is your money. This is customer, California utility customer money that has already been collected by the utilities that they're holding in an account and then it's doled out by the utility to uh, do various programs. And this includes the solar initiative, what we're talking about, the California Solar Initiative, and also other programs like energy efficiency, refrigerator exchanges, all of that money comes out of a line item on your bill called the public goods item. You can go look at that. Everybody has been charged that for well over 10 years. That's been, so that's where this money comes from. Uh, Good news is it's not general fund money, and therefore there hasn't been no interruption in the California rebate. That's been a very good thing because it hasn't based, been based upon government budget, budgeting. Second area of incentive, and that is very important, and it's become very important monetary money-wise because it, it now constitutes a larger proportion of your of your ultimate incentive and I'm talking about the 30 percent federal tax credit this has been available since the beginning of 2009 and its intention is specifically to encourage people to install solar and I might say uh, well specifically solar and solar thermal it applies to hot water systems and solar electric systems I want to make that very clear because I think hot water, solar hot water systems, is an area that's going to be getting much more attention as gas prices go up. Uh, right now, California heats water with gas more than electricity. This will be changing. Coming back to the incentives, the 30% tax credit is, is very valuable, and it now represents in a dollar amount a greater, more dollars than the California buy down. Uh, putting them all together though, we have approaching a 40 to 50 percent total system cost reduction off of so-called retail. This is good. I might throw in one extra plug right now because at this very moment solar panel prices are very much going down. System prices, offline has never offered system prices lower than we're offering right now. And when you take our current system prices, coupled with the federal tax credit and the current rebate, we can clearly, t I can tell you that after tax credit, system costs are going to be in the neighborhood of $4 a watt. That's significant. And if you're hearing that and you know what they have been, you should be pleased with that. Um, so those are the rebates, the basic rebates. The tax credit, I understand, uh, has been criticized from the point of view it only is valuable to people who are paying taxes. So if you're, or if you're retired or if it's a nonprofit entity, then it's a little bit more difficult. You don't have that advantage. Um, however, there are other things that we can talk about and there's, you know, there are certainly other, other incentives, other ways to go about it but the tax credit is significant at this point.